Why is sound lost on some systems? This question comes from uh, Bob in Oakland, California. In even large concert halls, I'm impressed by how one can hear a lone violin playing seemingly softly. In audio demos, the volume is usually cranked up higher than I would like in many cases. And the question I have is, what accounts for some systems being able to play music at lower volumes, but nevertheless with good dynamics, extension, while other systems seem to just fade out at lower volumes and lose information? What a great question. When my son Lon suggested to me that I start doing this video series, he said, Pop, you need to, you need to start doing a video series. And, uh, and, and, and also my, my friend Seth Godin had, had suggested that. And, but I, I didn't know, I, what the hell am I going to talk about every single day? I, I, you know, I write a daily blog, too. And I have to come up with something to say every day. And I've managed to do that for five, oh, going on almost six years now. But there I can, you know, I can, I can really put some time into thinking about it and answering people's questions. And that's when Lon came up with the idea. He said, have your viewers tell you what they want to know. And so we get great questions like this. Thank you. I appreciate that. And you can certainly send me more. I've got like 500 questions right now, but we'll, 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 we'll get through them. Somehow or other, we're going to get through them. All right. So um, I think it has less to do with the system and more to do with the room. And if you think about it, most let's, let's just say we have a, a level playing field. Let's say that we have similar systems with highly resolving speakers and electronics, and that it, they're not identical, but they are all decently resolving systems, high-end audio systems, not just stuff, because there you can get, at any volume level, you, you lose a lot of detail and you don't hear spatial cues, you don't hear upper harmonics, you don't hear all kinds of things that you would in a high-end audio system. But all things being equal, what I have found in concert halls in listening rooms, and in any number of venues, the room itself, the amount of proper reverberation within the room of reflective walls makes all the difference in the world. So one of the things we did in Music Room 1 is work hard at making a combination of reflective, diffusive, and absorptive absorptive materials on the walls. <laughs> so, so, sorry, someone asked me the other day, why don't you, when you do that or when you sneeze or something, why don't you edit that out? Well, two reasons. One, I'm lazy. Two, um, I consider these like live broadcasts. It just plunk me down and I'm going to start talking about it and just like live TV. So there you go. <laughs> anyway, we spent a lot of time getting the walls created. And why did we do that? Well, I got a great pair of speakers in there, but speakers are dependent on rooms, just as singers, lone violin players, are dependent on the concert hall, the horn effect. If you ever look at a concert hall, you'll notice they're shaped like a horn in the back. Almost all of them are. And that's so that we can increase the volume going into the audience. Well, the same is true for a room. So when you're playing within that room, how that room is set up, if it's got a proper amount of diffusion, reflection, and absorption, you'll hear details almost at any volume level that in other rooms you won't. So that's the answer I believe you're looking for. It's the room, not so much the system, all things being equal. Great question. Thanks. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.